look what I got. I finally got the toy sink for my birds. This toy sink is, out, is sold for children, but I've seen birds all over social media using this toy sink as it's perfect. A lot of birds love to bathe in the sink and now they can have their own sink. This was very, very, very easy to put together. I just took out all the plastic parts, the plastic fruits that came with it. And I left the little basket in here. It's ran on batteries, which just go in the back here of this tap. And it just slides in this hole. And then you turn it on. Woohoo! I bet you my birds would be so excited because I'm really excited. I mean, I'm, I, I feel like, I don't know, I'm a child and I just got my toy. <laughs> I get so excited for bird toys. And I'm hoping my birds will be very excited. But look at it. And this turns. It turns so the bird can sit up here. I can put it on each side. Or even in the middle. It doesn't fit exactly in the middle, but it can lean. The basket can lean on here just like this. So it is slanted, but I don't think the birds will mind. And they can sit on it because it could be a little bit deep in the middle here. The water's maybe this deep because it has to be deep enough to go into that hole. You could probably put. I don't know, maybe rocks or something, or maybe a perch in there. But I'm sure most of them will sit up here and take a shower. Because you can just turn it like this, right? But anyways, I'm so excited. So I'm going to put the link down below in the description if you're interested in getting one of these for your birds. So I wanted to share with you the first time that they go into this sink, kitchen, kitchen sink. It's called the kitchen sink, I believe, toy sink. So anyways, let's give it a go. This is my pet hummingbird. Looks like a hummingbird. Oh wait, that's Sprinkles, my lovebird. I knew Sprinkles would be the first one in here as he loves to bathe in the sink. But usually he's sitting on my hands uh, bathing in the sink. So he's just kind of, you know, checking it out, wondering what it is. That's why he's kind of hoovering, he's not sure. But he really wants to get in there and take a shower. And here comes Galaxy. Galaxy's a Sierra parakeet. He loves to take baths, many baths. He likes running water as well. And he's just checking everything out. The basin is probably too deep for him to go in there, so he'll probably take a shower. Oh, and there are all my budgies. Well, not all of them, but three of them. There's Sky. And there's Summer. She loves to take a bath. She, she bathes like about 10 times a day. So she's very interested. She'll probably jump in there if she likes deeper water. Here comes Summer. She's testing out the water with her foot. Is that ever cute? Oh, she kind of fell in. Maybe she's back again. I think she's going to jump in. <laughs> yeah. She loves the water and she likes deep water, so I knew she'd kind of go in there. Summer is a Kakariki. Here comes Sterling. It's gonna be a pool party in a second. Look at this! Woohoo! Yay! 
<laughs> I love when they're all bathing at the same time. It's so much fun. I love watching this. Well, it looks like the toy kitchen sink is a hit with my birds, and I'm sure your birds would love it as well. One thing I wish that it was just a plug-in instead of batteries, as I've used about uh, five sets of batteries. I use one set of battery each day as I leave it running, you know, for as long as the batteries will last. Uh, make sure you get a good quality battery, as the first set of batteries that I used only lasted an hour. Then I got a better set, and this lasted actually three or four hours each time. And what I do is I dump, dump out the water, I clean it out, I take the batteries out and check for water leakage as you don't want the batteries to be leaking inside the water to make the water toxic for your birds. So make sure you really keep an eye on that if you're going to get this bath. But um, my birds really enjoyed it. I love this. I had a great time watching them take a bath. And now everybody's going to preen themselves. They all feel nice and clean and fresh. There's Jack. He's such a cutie pie in summer. Now my other birds, the ones that didn't go in the bath, are preening away. When they hear the water running, they preen. They just take like an air bath. This tickles my linny, Monty my cockatiel, and I believe that's my lovebird Sprinkles in the back. Here's Sprinkles again. So if you want to see other videos on how to get your birds to bathe, click on the video on the screen. And I will see you next time. Bye.